Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot, and uh, this is going to be <coughs> Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading from uh, 4th of March to 10th of March 2019. So while I'm shuffling the cards once again guys, I just want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aries star sign. And for that reason, it's uh, gonna resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level for that matter with uh, every single different Aries. For the reason being that you guys, Aries are different from one another and you do experience different situations right now in this very moment. So in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately at the end you will have to align them to your personal situation for maximum accuracy. Now if you want me to do that for you, in other words to analyze your personal situation through tarot, that is a subject of a personal reading and uh, for personal readings you can check out my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So uh, for this reading, I'm going to use the traditional reader white tarot deck and uh, it's going to be a four card tarot spread. So the first card, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the chariot card, followed by the second one, which is going to be the uh, negative approach toward the situation or what one should not do regarding the topic here. This is going to be the uh, empress. Then what we do have is the third card and this is going to be the positive approach toward the situation uh, or what you should do regarding the topic here that is to be the Knight of Pentacles. And the last card as the uh, spread goes, it is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of Tarot and that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. So... <clears throat> Once again, guys, uh, the chariot card followed by the queen, the empress, excuse me. Then it is the knights of pentacles. And the last one that we do have, this is the ten of pentacles, which is the outcome of growth or how the week is going to help you grow. <clears throat> so I'm going to put them here on my desk. Uh, the cards that is. And uh, just by the overview of these cards, it does look like that this is going to be quite of a, um, a week of a breakthrough for you, Aries, is. in either a career or either relationship. It's, it's just going to be a week where um, <clears throat> an execution of a certain plan is going to take place. Once again, either career or either relationship-wise. Now, the first card that we do have, which is the topic of your week, this is the chariot and the chariot is about pushing hard. It's about, especially if your situation is against all odds. Um, to be um, to give you an example of that, uh, if you are trying to be with a person against your uh, against all odds, then uh, the chariot gives you a, a very good potency here for you to make that relationship happen. Or if it is about a project that it is really in a bad shape and it's materialization or rather like it's breakthrough, it's against all odds. Once again, the chariot gives you a, a signs of triumph. The thing with the chariot card is that um, <clears throat> it, it usually appears when one needs to expand their capabilities and their limits and realizes that they can, you know, they can perform better than they are performing right now. But the chariot is also a, about making a preparation for a big jump moving on forward, meaning that um, at that point you need to make a clean break with the past to a certain aspects of the past, just so I can make myself clear here. If we go with the example of against the lords making a relationship with someone, you may have similar situation with the past, you know, and you may start thinking of it, you know, bringing up the remnants from the past. And so making a clear break with the past means that you should not kind of lead yourself regarding the previous poignant experience. So it's kind of like previous poignant experience should not be a criteria for you not to try out anything, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. 
the chariot in this in this week shows you that the, the the topic itself or the week itself is going to be a week where you're going to collect the luck of the hard work you will be able to present yourself just as one is you will you will be able to give a, a huge amount of self-expression which also points to a very creative work also <clears throat> if you are trying to develop a creative project for yourself that is a excellent card for you to do so <clears throat> And also, it's, it's a card pointing to a huge personal independence, sovereignty, uh, singularity, if you want to say it that way as well, uh, in a sense of that you don't need anybody to help you. I mean, if you arm yourself with, uh, with your iron will and determination, you can definitely push your things through. So just to summarize with the chariot card here, this is a, um, a week of a, a severe breakthrough, especially in a field that you are kind of like uh, feeling your efforts futile or you are feeling that you are banging your head against the wall here. The accompanied card with the chariot, this is the Hierophant. And we are forming here passive friends, which means in that case that the resolution of uh, this issue that you had, or rather like the... Um, the breakthrough itself, I know that this sounds a little bit superficial or rather like very abstract, but it does reside, the resolution of that does reside you know, in the framework of already existing means and existing patterns. So what that really tells me is that for some of you Aries, uh, this breakthrough will regard to actions or decisions you got to make that you would prefer not to make or not to take, kind of like a last resort thing, you know, a, a last option available, plan C, plan Z, or etc., etc. But the more you try different alternatives, the more you will realize that, you know, that thing you need to do or rather like the thing that you need to rely on, it's, it's the one that you don't want to kind of like attend to straight away, but it is the right one to be taken under consideration. Additionally to that, with the Hierophant here, for you Aries, uh, this week also may be a, a week where someone, a mentor of yours, especially if you do have someone that is mentoring, is going to uh, encourage you quite much so you take that kind of like breakthrough because it's going to be a, a struggle against the lords once again and uh, many of you may think that you cannot do it but your mentor is going to give you the necessary counseling and as well a therapeutic help in a sense of boosting your confidence boosting your self-esteem because the chariot is also about self-esteem you need to be quite confident and you need to be also well aware that if you don't try, you ain't gonna make it. And so only those who doesn't try, they don't make it. But if you try, you will. So yeah, your mentor is going to boost your self-confidence and uh, I don't know how to say it, but let's say self-reliability here. And simply is going to uh, make you determined enough to push through either career-wise or either relationship-wise. By the way, for those who are single with these cards, um, it's, it does look like an, an appearance of, um, of a potential for making a certain relationship. But with these cards, uh, that relationship could be a bit premature. And that's why the Hierophant comes here, which uh, appears itself as a, uh, um, an option for you to do some not exactly counseling, but let's say fruitful conversations with the person that you can establish a relationship, you know, uh, just so you can see how much you can trust them and how serious they are taking you and the relationship itself. But should you be single, Aries is definitely throughout the week you are to have a, a chance to at least start empathizing with someone. So the second card, which is a, about the uh, negative approach toward the week, that is the um, Empress. So the negative approach is completely detaching from the situation in this case, or being very hesitant, not wanting to make any kind of decision. It's kind of like, I will try to explain it that way uh, with an, an example here. So you do have your option or uh, your opportunity to make a severe breakthrough 
although it's gonna be a very difficult one to do. And so instead of charging forward, you kind of like make a, um, and an excuse that you need a little bit more time to think about it. Now that is, a th that is a thing that you should not do. Having the Empress into the negative position, it means that the plan is as best as it gets. It's basically, you cannot make any, uh, you can't make a better plan than the plan that you do have right now. If you don't have any plan, uh, then, me, then it means that you cannot go with any plan because you have to tackle with, uh, you know, the situations as soon as the situations are arising instead of, you know, trying to predict what kind of a situation you are to have throughout the week. Anyway, with the, uh, with the Empress, uh, this card points uh, as well that um, you may feel a bit insecure in a sense of, like I said, unpredictability of the situation. But uh, when we do have the Empress in the negative uh, position, it does as well point to, how can I place it really? Um, that you gotta stay very close to the action, okay? You should not give yourself a break, at least not throughout the week. Just to give you an example here, you want to be with uh, that person that you'll find very difficult to control. You have your chance here throughout the week to control them and you need to keep on reminding them for yourself and for your presence instead of having a date one day and then a couple of days they don't hear from you, okay? So it's kind of like inactivity. It's something that you should not allow throughout the week to happen to you and detachment from the situation itself. As soon as you stir it, you should keep on kind of like incorporating yourself, your your presence, you know, your your efforts, your actions into it. If, if it is about you wanting to develop a certain project, as soon as you stir the project on, then it means that you got to basically be 24 seven around the project and uh, mitigating and, you know, juggling with, uh, with all the enterprises that the project involves instead of, you know, working from eight to five and then, whatever is to happen with the rest of the time happens. Basically with that card points that you need to be on the top of your game instead of giving yourself a break to think about it. There is nothing to think about it. This is my point here. Because uh, right now you gotta build up your foundations, you know, and after the foundations are ready, then you can stop for a second and think about it. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Swords, we are forming here passive enemies. So basically what these cards here are pointing is that the history is not going to repeat itself. And that's why I said here about a poignant experience in clear break with the past. You cannot judge, because the situation for what it seems here, it appears very similar to a situation you had a, a failure in back in the past, all right? Either career-wise or relationship-wise. And as it is a similar one, you may adopt the sense of that you're gonna fail again, which that is not gonna be the case. What my point here, guys, is with these couple of cards is that you should be brave enough to try a new, uh, because with, especially with the Chariot and the Hierophant, this time around, you do have a mentor. The very least, you do know the patterns that you need to walk over, or rather like to execute in order to make the thing happen and you do have the necessary experience to make the thing happen. The situation may be the same materially, but you are a better person. You basically are more experienced than before and you can definitely pull it through this time around. So don't be um, intimidated by uh, by the resemblance of the situation with the situation of your past. That is uh, that is what these couple of cards are pointing for you, Aries. Is. And once again, uh, you should kind of keep up on top of your game. You should be constantly on the top of your projects throughout the week, on the top of, uh, of your business and on top of your relationships as well. Basically, to me, what it seems is that you need to always know what is going on. All right. Kind of like managing everything around you which could be a bit overburdening at certain points, uh, but it will pay off a big time as we are to see in a couple of minutes here when I go to the next card. So the uh, next card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is 
the Knight of Pentacles. So what the Knight of Pentacles asks you is to ask yourself, what do you want? What do you really want? Because the Knight of Pentacles always know what he wants, all right? So this is your behavior. What do you want? Is that what you're chasing here? Is that what uh, it gives you so hard, so much hard time is something that you want? Is, is that project that your career, which is such a nail in, um, in your tour and it is so difficult it is exactly what you want or is this person that you are chasing and it's very difficult to entrow them it is the person that you want answering to that question is going to increase your determination uh it's not even funny how much i can't really des describe it but it's going to increase your determination with a tremendous amount i mean the determination is going to be preposterously high uh, to a point where uh, you will need nothing else with the knight of pentacles first thing that you need to uh, that you need to do is set your goal set your rhyme basically you need to know what you want right not to be hesitant to not knowing what you want. Well, basically because, you know, I'd say it kind of like comes close to the mind. Of course, I know what I want, people say. But you will be amazed how many people come to me for reading not knowing what, what they want, right? It is just, they are not sure. So throughout this week, if you need to take a couple of days just to determine for yourself what you want, that is going to pay a, a big benefit. And as soon as you know what you want throughout the week, then your actions are going to be supported with huge determination, which is exactly what you need. And especially if we're talking about relationships here, uh, they will also be supported with a great amount of compassion. That is something that is gonna make a, a huge impression into the person that you are chasing. Not to mention that the Knight of uh, Pentacles is also very favorable for reconciliation. So as we said with the poignant experience from the past, you know, that could be an ex as well coming around here, <clears throat> which is trying to make up uh, for you, make it up for the previous actions they did in the past, you know, to make it up for them to you, especially with having the last card, but we are going to go there in a minute, you know? And the Knights of Pentacles said by the great demonologist, Alistair Crowley in a relationship reading could also mean jumping into the old branches, which means, you know, reviving an old love. And if someone, if you have an ex who is trying to get in touch with you, this card advises you to give them a second chance not to mention that the Ten of Pentacles further supports that. But anyway, in the general scheme of things, in the grand scheme of thing, uh, things, guys, the Knight of Pentacles urges you to keep it simple and stupid. Basically, the KISS principle, you know, it's just take one thing after another, just one thing at a time, slow and hard, slow and hard push. And you will see that you know, your efforts are going to start bringing a, a quite good results. And uh, after that, what I think after this tremendous push of yours, tremendous breakthrough of yours, uh, Aries says, you will be granted a, a huge amount of rest. Basically, you will be able to recuperate yourself from these enormous efforts that you are going to incorporate, either making relationship, reviving relationship, or executing project, finding a job, you name it. It is just this week, it's a week where you have to make a difference. That is the thing. You have the, ne the necessary abilities to do so. Maybe you, you lack a little bit of a self-confidence, but don't you worry, you know, spending some time with a faithful companion or a mentor of yours is going to boost that confidence. And as soon as that confidence is boosted, the next thing you gotta do is answer to yourself, what do I want, what do I want for myself? And if you answer that, well then bang, you start working for it and the results are not going to be delayed. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the um, Wheel of Fortune. So what we do have is passive neutrals. Basically what this card ad adjusts to the reading or gives a shade to the Knights of uh, Pentacles is that nothing is gonna happen by a chance to you, all right? Or you should not leave anything to happen by a chance, all right? So whatever actions you take, 
either toward a person or toward a project or regardless, whatever you are to execute throughout the week needs to be systemized well. You have to be, like I said, on the top of your game. Another confirmation with the Wheel of Fortune is that the opportunities throughout the week are not presented to you by fortune, by fate or by universe. Those opportunities are there because you made them to be there. All right. So you contributed, you created them and you are the one to take advantage of them. <clears throat> and that being said, with these cards, I could say with a pure heart, you know, with a pure hand on my heart is that you are going to control your destiny. You're going to control your fate. So uh, it is imperative that throughout the week, Aries, you do not slack, but you basically once again, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself, but once again, determine what you want and start building it up. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, which is the final outcome of growth. And it's uh, very clear here, guys, that uh, basically your efforts are going to bring results. The Ten of Pentacles, it is about materializing of, uh, of one's uh, toils. Not to mention that um, if you follow this advice, at the end, you are going to start feeling more independent than ever and with a lot of personal freedom as well. It's kind of like the hard part of the undertaking, the hard part of the, uh, of the enterprise is now over. You can <clears throat> enjoy yourself with the fruits of your labor and as well, you know, you can rest a little bit before you actually start building up your domain from the foundations that you have just built throughout this week, March 4th to uh, March 10th, 2019. Ten of Pentacles also points that uh, a person that once betrayed your trust back in the past is going to be back in your life. So if you give a second chance to a business partner who did you wrong back in the past or to an ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend for that matter with the Ten of Pentacles, this is going to pay off. They basically recognize what they did wrong and they have the purest intentions here throughout this card to um, correct themselves and to basically, you know, make it work this time around. But uh, what will happen ultimately and the very least for you, Aries, is, is that at the end of the week, the present is going to connect itself with the past and the future is going to become much more predictable than it is right now. The accompanied card that is going to be the Sun card. So we are forming here another uh, passive neutrals and uh, basically with the sun card the ten of pentacles is not the end it is just a milestone so you can even sprout that thing even further you can sprout that relationship even further you can sprout that project even further and um, with the sun card here as with the ten of pentacles it does advises you especially if we're talking about monetary success or if that's a project of yours that you want to push through and that project proves itself quite lucrative by the end of the week, uh, then it will be wise having this combination to invest those money somewhere, you know, kind of like share those money with someone else or invest those money elsewhere. If you don't have anybody to share those money with or you don't want to invest anywhere, charity, it's a good thing because with these couple of cards, uh, the, what they are saying here is that focusing on monetary success is likely to give you one but focusing on it alone is going to create an empty existence. So you definitely need to associate yourself with somebody by the end of the week. Uh, if you already have a family, that's a good thing. So you're not going to have any problems into that. But if you are alone, like me, for example, not having anybody to share your fortune with, it's going to be a good thing to find one friend, you know, associate, uh, lover, or just if you want, you can do it for charity as well. I'm not saying to throw everything in there, just a, a small portion from it so you can feel pleasure of the fruits of your labor. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 4th to, to, uh, to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Aries, a star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different 
different level with uh, every single different areas. But if you want more personal touch on your personal situation, then you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services for private readings and their pricings as well. <clears throat> And basically, in those private readings, we are going to talk about your personal situation and uh, the cards are going to be personal, personalized, personalized for it. So that being said, Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.